let's have uh, an update on the plant growth that we have in our aquaponic system in winter. So a few days ago, I made a video about uh, the growth of the plants in winter. I told you that we would make some checkpoints and have a look at what is growing during winter. Uh, we know that winter is a season of the year where we, the growth is very limited depending on where you live. But here uh, in the south of Australia, in Melbourne, uh, the temperature uh, is quite low in winter. It can go as low as 2 degrees Celsius for one or two days, but we got uh, several days around 10 degrees. So obviously it's not the optimal uh, temperature for the plant growth, but still, even in winter, you can still grow some food. So today I'm just gonna give an update on where we are at with all those plants that we saw uh, a few weeks ago. See if we had a bit of growth, uh, see how things are going basically. So in this system uh, we still have some celery that is growing so nothing really new. Uh, the bok choy are growing a little bit more. I had one there but it's really... this one uh, I am not really sure what it is. I think it's a, it's a silver bit. It looks like it's a silver bit but you see it doesn't have much light so it has some trouble to grow. Otherwise the other plants are going okay. Uh, you see I got some leaves falling, so unfortunately this system is completely under this cypress. You see there is a big cypress with possums living inside, so we don't have much growth here. I mean it's not, it's not the best position, but still we have uh, some uh, celery that is nicely growing, a uh, nice silver bit, so here I can always take a few leaves in the morning to have my, uh, my juice. Here we got some nice mints growing on this uh, other, other aquaponic system. Really nice growth, you see the nice leaves, very healthy, so that's good. Here we got another uh, lemon boom, so it's growing okay. I actually did some cuttings, I cut some, I put another one here and I put a few others here and there, you see. Um, I just want to leave them an opportunity to grow a bit everywhere, if possible. Uh, put the celery here, so nothing special on those two setups here. I don't have much expectations on those, you know, they are completely under the tree. You see the tree is just here. So it's not really, they never really have any sun, uh, any direct sun. And here we got uh, another crow bed that is linked to the other system there. So here we got a very nice bok choy, you see that is uh, growing well. Uh, strawberries are really giving some nice flowers now. So that's promising, I'm quite happy, you see. Uh, here I just planted a, a bit root, so this one is going to take a while to grow. Uh, some little lettuce, uh, silver, silver bit that I collect uh, quite frequently to have my juice in the morning. Uh, again, strawberries, uh, a nice celery that was planted here. Here we have some bok choy again. Uh, here we have some strawberries, so you see some. Uh, flowers and I think we already had the flowers last time I made a video so one, uh, two or three weeks ago so here we can see that um, there is a fruit here that is almost uh, I mean not ready obviously but uh, it's in nice formation uh, again some nice um, uh, beetroots that are growing so very small silver beet very nice uh, little lettuce again strawberries here we have uh, celery, beetroot again, and there you see that's uh, the lemon beam that I put and it seems to grow in well actually, so I'm quite happy. It's just some cuttings that I made from the other one. Um, and in winter, so you know that's never the best time to put some, uh, to do some cuttings, but still it's working really well. Uh, here we have some um, nice uh, silver beets. Um, they are producing well and again I collect the leaves uh, for the juice so it's going well. This one you see how old it is so you can see you know I always uh, get the old leaves so when they grow as it grow I just pick the old leaves so for example I want to make a juice I, I collect one two three three leaves um, 
and I leave it growing, growing, growing. So this one is, has got uh, probably a few years already. I leave it because it's still produced, so no problem for me. Um, here, uh, so the bok choy are growing really well. Um, the lettuce, well, it's winter, but it's still producing. So a few leaves here and there. Here we got some uh, uh, other types of uh, silver beet that are growing. So it's good. This one is obviously a beetroot. And uh, some care. Again, uh, I got this, uh, those beans that I put snow beans without any, any real structure for them to grow on. So it's growing as it can. So yeah, that's the update for the for the week. Um, you can see there is a, a little bit of production, but it's not crazy because we are in winter. So we'll see what we can do uh, next uh, in the next two weeks, probably. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little update. Uh, again, it's just a few weeks, but in a few weeks later, we're going to have another one. So I'm going to make a few of those little update videos to show you that uh, even in winter, in the worst uh, conditions, we can still have a little bit of growth and produce a little bit of food in our uh, aquaponic system. If you are inspired by this video, if you are interested by aquaponics, you are on the good place. Uh, I offer a free aquaponics training from the description of the video just below. I want to help you to build your aquaponics system and to succeed at producing some healthy, tasty and sustainable food in your own backyard. You can subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!